Hello and welcome to DNA's Garage and today we're going to be installing the head gasket. So basically you want to have this aligned as best as possible but don't worry because when you put the head it's going to move. And make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to. Now what I use is I use this dowel pin. I think that's what it's called I'm not sure because on this side it doesn't fit but if you flip it it does fit so what that's a clear indicator that it's incorrect if you have the other way and the other thing is right here this oil port right here um, surrounded by copper and if you go to the other side and that's two things that could tell you that you have your head gasket wrong so you want to make sure and check for your owner's manual or a repairs manual so let's get started now I am going to be using stock head bolts uh, I was thinking about going with ARP but uh, this is a budget built head bolts will do just for now let's start so right now we're going to be putting the, the head bolts in that's a little tricky one you have to put the washer through the side because it doesn't fit from the top so be on the lookout for that Make sure all of them have washers. So you have to slide it. There we go. Find the washer for this guy. All of them are, are in, and uh, we're ready to torque it to specs. Now there is five steps to this, and I'm gonna put it in the screen, all five steps right now. So I'm gonna be using a ratchet, and these bolts are a uh, 10 millimeter hex. And there is a torque sequence for this, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, let's get started. They're all in there. I got them pretty, uh, pretty tight. And uh, now we're gonna start with the torquing them down. And the first number is 22 pounds. So let's get started. And so they're all torqued to 22, and, and now we're gonna move to 59. And the third step is to loosen all the bolts and get them all.
now I'm in the fourth set. And basically what you have to do is get them all snug again and then torque them to 20 pounds of torque. And now for the fifth and final step is going to be to torque them an additional 90 degrees. Now I don't have a angle measure so I'm just going to go by estimation. So here is the head installed and um, it was pretty easy. So next video is going to be putting on the cams and the timing chain. So make sure you stay tuned for that and uh, more videos coming soon about this whole engine rebuild. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Follow us on all social media for future updates. Thank you for watching.